this is Buddy back with another video and today we're taking a look at Adobe Photoshop Elements 15. So I did Premiere Elements that video a while back actually a couple of months ago. If you guys want to go check that out if you haven't watched it before. They also bundle both these programs together for a little bit of a cheaper cost but this one's about Photoshop. So this one only costs about $60 on sale, $100 normally and then I think you can bundle them for about $120. I think now they actually did maybe away with the educational discount. I remember on the 13th edition, they actually had an educational discount that was exactly the same program. You just got a little bit of money off. But for only about $100, this is a great program to want to buy or bundle with the video editing suite. So yes, it does lag a little bit sometimes, kind of just like stutter a bit. And it also depends on what machine you're running it on. And yes, it does work on the new MacBook Pros. I have a 15 inch version here and it actually works pretty solidly. I can do everything I need to, it doesn't really crash on me. Whereas a lot of people in the past have said, this program's awful on Mac and doesn't work. So I did take a chance, I did the trial version. You can get that for only about 14 days. And you can try that on your, on your machine and see if it's worth spending that 60 or $100 on this. But it's a great program and it's a basically the dumbed down, kind of toned down version of the Creative Cloud one of Photoshop that everyone knows and loves. Photoshop is a is like the master, the, the head honcho program that Adobe makes that everyone likes to use. Everyone, you always hear, oh, that's Photoshop. Oh, that's Photoshop. That's kind of the term. Adobe kind of set that standard. It doesn't look as nice. It kind of looks a little bit dated has some easier modes like quick and guided mode at the top here that you can switch between or go into the expert mode which is more like the full version of Photoshop except it just doesn't look as nice and some of the full-fledged features like the ones that the pros would be using aren't really there but it pretty much does everything that I would want to do it so when I edit videos for thumbnails edit video it does everything that I would want it to do. So edit video. It does everything that I would want it to do. So edit photos for thumbnails or edit like pictures for school or stuff, making posters, making any type of graphic design. For me, it does me really well. And to be honest, it'll do pretty much 90% of you guys that are watching this out there a good deal as well as too. So some of the like filters and some of the super advanced features aren't there, but like most people won't even use those at all. So really this thing will get the job done. I mean, it's got all the selection tools. It's got all the enhance, draw, modify. I mean, it'll do pretty much everything for you. A little bit different formatted. Sometimes you can like triple click on text and then you can just type and edit it. Whereas on normal Photoshop, you can't. So it's a little variations in it. But the fact that you don't have to pay $10 a month or $50 a month for using the Creative Cloud Suite from Adobe, this makes it such a great option for starting YouTubers, starting graphic designers, people that want to edit for t-shirt designs or stuff like that. Because you just pay that one-time fee and you pretty much have all the options that you need to edit in Photoshop. And it's even cheaper to get the version, use it for maybe a year or two, and then upgrade even to that next version. Because we had the 13 editions, so Goober and I do videos, he does gaming videos and I do tech videos on the channel here, and we have one on the desktop that's the 13 edition, and that thing doesn't have groups, you can't even open them on it. But now on the 15 edition, there are groups, so I can open it, I can make new groups, I can organize that layer palette a little bit more. So just like that, new features do get added and stuff, and it's very nice and easy to use and good because say you're on a Mac or say you're on a PC and you don't want to spend that ton of money on an editing suite, well, this Elements version works just perfectly. So if you guys have any questions on this or what it can do, what it can't do, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them all for you. But I definitely have enjoyed using this and it's great for editing all the pictures I want and it only stutters and lags a little bit and I, I think that might have to do a little bit with the machine I'm using as well as since it's a Mac and it's one of the newer Macs and stuff like that but it works enough and it doesn't crack enough like others have said in the past so I can actually use this legitimately. 
But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Remember to check out our other videos on the channel, like I said before. Hit that big red subscribe button down below, as well as that bell icon next to it to stay updated with all of our videos. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Hola.